Are you a fan of the old school Star Wars shooter, Dark Forces? Well, you may be aware that long before the remaster of this game was announced recently, someone had already been working on a recreation of a new engine to run the game on modern systems with modern controls called the Force Engine. And the creator of this engine actually, I guess, contributed some of the work to the upcoming remaster. Now, as you may be aware, I've been working on getting a, a variety of different old games working on the Steam Deck. And and getting the Force Engine working on the Steam Deck, which is based on Linux, has been a challenge. But I actually just found out how powerful Proton is, which is the compatibility layer built into the Steam Deck. And I'm going to show you how I was able to use that and get the Force Engine working so that I could play Dark Forces in the best way possible on the Steam Deck. And I'm going to show you how to get it working. So again, this is Crossplay Gaming if you're new and my name is Eric. So let's go ahead and jump on over to the Steam Deck and we'll do it in docked mode so that you can get a look at everything that I'm doing. Alrighty, so here we are in docked mode. You can see some of my library and I have these uh, old Star Wars games lined up here and I have actually gotten all of these working on the Steam Deck and the way that I discovered this actually uh, how to get Dark Forces working with the Force Engine it was actually sort of a, a side benefit of figuring out how to get Jedi Knight working now basically what that means is if you follow this tutorial closely you may infer how to get Jedi Knight working but I'm probably going to do a separate tutorial on that anyways later uh, make sure you leave a like and comment below if you want to see more tutorials like this and that'll be one of them. So yes, you do need to download and install Dark Forces. And this method is going to basically allow the game to launch as if it was the original game downloaded onto Steam. Here we have uh, Dark Forces. And you can see I already have it set up here, but we're going to go ahead and jump on over into uh, desktop mode. And I'll show you how to start the process from scratch. So to do desktop mode, you go ahead and you hit power and go to switch to desktop. Alrighty, so basically what I discovered was that in order to get this working, you, you basically have to take advantage of that Proton compatibility layer that is built into the Steam Deck. Which means that even though this is a Linux-based system, we're basically going to treat this process the same way that we would treat a Windows installation, but then combine that with gaming mode. And so I'll explain what all that means as we go here. So let's Go ahead and jump on over to the Force Engine website. It's pretty easy to find with Google, but I'll leave the link in the description as we go here. We go on over on the Force Engine website to Downloads. And here we see currently, at the time of recording this, it's at version 1.09.540. So basically up to this point, a lot of people have been attempting to compile this themselves. Linux experts have succeeded, I'm sure, but I'm not a Linux expert. And so compiling this for use on the Steam Deck from source is way beyond my abilities. So with my method, we're actually going to go ahead and we're going to use the Windows build, which is right here. So you're going to click that and download it. And if you hit the uh, folder right there, you can see you have your Force Engine zip file. And that's going to be in your downloads folder. And so you're going to keep that handy there. And you're going to say uh, extract. And you can go ahead and extract here. And we'll just do sort of a drag and drop method here. I already have this done, so uh, I'll just explain how to do some of it. And I won't repeat the process necessarily. I'll show you what I mean here. But uh, let's uh, go on over and... We're going to right click and we're going to say open new window. Okay. And so the place where you're going to find where to put this is that you have to actually go into your Steam installs and find where Dark Forces is installed and how uh, Steam accesses it. And so we're going to head over to home. And by the way, uh, in order to access this, you're going to have to do hidden files. And so you're going to go up to the uh, top right here and you can see show hidden files. See, it's already checked for me. You'll notice if I check it like that, you're going to have uh, no hidden files. So yeah, go ahead and uh, show hidden files and you're going to see local right here. So go to local, go to share. Let me move the window a little so you can see it here. You're going to go to Steam and you're going to go down to Steam apps. You're going to go to common and then dark forces in my case is right here, but yeah, you'll find the dark forces folder, open it up 
and then you're going to go to the DOS box folder. You're going to have that next to your uh, extracted force engine stuff here. And so what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and you're going to select all of these and you're going to drag them over to this DOS box folder, which I have already done. I'm not going to do it again. Now, in some cases, perhaps uh, on Windows, I know when I was doing a very similar process with uh, Jedi Knight, on Windows, you will sometimes have it ask you, uh, do you want to replace repeated files or something else? And if you have that kind of message pop up here, it did not pop up for me. It, it probably won't for you. But if it does, you will go ahead and say replace files. Um, and then you basically have uh, things set up over here for the most part, but there's one little change you're going to want to make. You're going to find a, a dosbox.exe file. Okay. Uh, go ahead and rename it to something else or delete it. And then you're going to find the .exe file. So we can see it here. It will now be moved over, but you're going to go to the force engine.exe and you're going to rename that to dosbox.exe. Okay. That is pretty much the whole process. What this basically is doing is it is forcing Steam to recognize the game the way that it was before, but it's actually launching a new engine, basically. It's, it's launching the Force engine. And it is, because it has that uh, Proton compatibility, it's basically going to run just like it does on Windows. So let's go uh, right on back over to gaming mode. All right, so here we are back in uh, gaming mode. So let's go back into Dark Forces. And now that you're here you can go ahead and hit play. And boom, we are opened in the Force Engine. And this is on the Steam Deck, fully compatible. So you can go ahead and uh, set it up however you want, if you're already familiar with the engine, and then hit start. Boom. Just like Windows. So I'll go ahead and uh, skip some of the beginning stuff here. And we'll uh, go ahead and begin a mission. Check it out. I love the bloom effect that's been added with this. And uh, I have tried this out in handheld mode and boy, it is smooth. Works really well, feels really good. I just have sort of my cheap desktop mode mouse and keyboard going right now, but even that's working all right. All right. Well, there you have it. Dark Forces on the Force Engine, working on the Steam Deck. All righty. Uh, if you enjoyed this tutorial and you found it helpful, make sure that you leave a like. Make sure you subscribe. I enjoy doing stuff like this and also just doing some uh, gameplay live streams when I have the time. Got a couple babies in the house now, so it's a little tough to get back to the streaming as much as I used to. But uh, I'm trying to put out more video type content like this from time to time. So uh, again, I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see me do more tutorials like this, let me know in the comments which ones you'd which ones you would prefer. Some that I have sort of uh, lined up right now that I'm thinking I might want to show. Uh, again, our Jedi Knight, uh, as well as Mysteries of the Sith. Uh, the installation for those kind of go together. That's the same process. And then also Jedi Outcast. I've uh, also gotten working. And uh, some of those are, are more simple, actually. But, you know, videos might be warranted for people who are searching for those specifically. But if you enjoyed this one, thanks for stopping by. And we'll see you around to the next one. Thanks for watching.